What is good everybody? It is your boy Luesta here, aka The Canvas Man. And today I'm gonna be documenting or talking about what happened after I decided to start posting on TikTok about on average three times a day for the past four months. I've gotten some pretty decent success if you ask me. Honestly, I really think that what I've learned from this experience to sum it up real quick is that TikTok is probably one of the easiest apps entire social media history to grow a following on. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you guys should probably go do that right now. But I've been pretty much posting on Instagram for the past two years and I've gotten decent success on there as well. But in terms of following, you know, it, I've done way better on TikTok. But on Instagram, I'm pretty much a person who posts hip hop um, related content, you know, memes, I post a lot of stuff about canvases, which is my business. You know, I, I, I it kind of go hand in hand with hip hop. I post like album cover canvases. That's pretty much how I made my name in the game. I've gotten up to 44,000 followers, but to be honest, like I kind of plateaued in terms of followers on Instagram and I'm trying to figure out what's the next step for me to take it further than that. Because honestly, it doesn't seem like it's going anywhere. That's why I'm here on YouTube. That's why I'm on TikTok. I'm trying to find other ways of growing my brand because it seemed to not do much for me when I kept posting consistently every single day Day, four times a day on Instagram for the past two years, which I should probably make another video on. But today we're talking about TikTok, all right? So it's important to know that I am in the hip hop niche and you know, the hip hop niche is pretty big on, on TikTok at least you could say. So I guess I have a wider audience to promote to, which is, you know, great. But at the end of the day, mediocre content goes viral all the time on TikTok. There's people who don't even have a niche and have way more followers than me. In April, 2021, that's really when I started to really go in on TikTok. The reason and I did that was because I was actually on Twitter, which I had about 16,000 followers on. And that was like my second job other than Instagram. But once my Twitter got suspended for multiple copyright it, uh, copyright claims, I guess, I kind of just said, screw it. I'm just going to go to TikTok. I'm taking my talents to TikTok. <laughs> so let's get right into it. This is what I achieved in the four months of posting on average three times a day on TikTok. All right. So the first month, I didn't really know what the hell I was doing. If you scroll through my TikTok, which I'll probably put a video on my screen right now, you know, when I first started getting started on TikTok, it wasn't really much going for me. I was getting on average, maybe 200 to 500 views every TikTok. Absolutely no comments, no followers were coming in. I didn't know what the hell I was doing on there, which I suggest everyone who's starting to go on TikTok to just do that. Go on your, on your first month of TikTok, just play around with it. Don't even try growing. Just really get to uh, get used to TikTok, start following accounts that you like. That's really what I was doing too. I wasn't even using TikTok as a consumer. I wasn't really sure of what I was putting myself into when I first started to use TikTok. So I think the first month of you using TikTok should really be you starting to consume it, following pages that you really like, and just posting TikToks that are super cringe so you can learn from them and just really see what kind of you know things you like doing the best and, it, and seeing if you could gain any success with any type of video you make. So yeah, the first vid, the first month, I was really trying to do stupid stuff. I was just trying to do trends. I was really doing like more of like an acting role on TikTok. But you know, as I kept doing that, I realized two things that I didn't like doing trends. I don't really like to do stuff like that, I guess you could say, just keeping it simple. I hate trends, by the way, guys. Don't think you guys need trends in order to grow on TikTok. I didn't use a single trend in my TikTok journey and I was able to get a lot of followers. So I'm gonna keep getting into that. So the second month, um, the second month, this is when I really started to apply growing tactics. So this is when I was really starting to go simple things like when are you supposed to use your hashtags? How much time people are supposed to watch the video in order for it to blow up? You know, it's just little things I was starting to take notes of and really starting to make my TikTok page a page where I wanted to visit. I would just try to tell myself if I really wanted to go on TikTok, what do I want to see on there? And that's really what I created, a TikTok page that I would like to go on, at least in the niche that I'm in, you know? So yeah, after many, many flops, many fails, many cringy videos, finally got some success as I stuck to my game plan. There was one video I posted about Kid Cudi and Selena Gomez being high on Instagram. <coughs> you think I can go live on Facebook? Could I do that? I mean, you can do that. That's what some people do. Yeah, that's what the people do. You remember that lady that um, went live on Facebook? When, uh, she got pulled over by the police and they shot her husband. 
And this video went pretty viral. It got around 2 million views. Once I posted that video, I went up like 10,000 followers. So like once that happened for me, I was just like, okay, this is simple. You just gotta post stuff that like people wanna see. So it, it's really just applying logic like that. And that's really what I just started to do. I was just like, okay, so my Instagram has, you know, two years worth of content that I've never posted on TikTok. So I pretty much just started going through my Instagram page, looking at all my best posts and to just get me started, get me rolling, get me some followers, like, engagement I really just started to repost the best content that came from my Instagram back onto my TikTok and sure enough I was just growing like crazy going I mean I was going really viral man I've gotten so many videos that hit way over millions of views like I said I have a hip-hop page I'm very well versed when it comes to hip-hop I know a lot about hip-hop history I know what people want to hear I know what people like to debate about so that's really what I started doing man and I just started doing it over and over again I started dedicating about three hours of my day every single day to making TikTok, whether I came up with one video or I came up with 10 videos in those three hours, I would just dedicate a solid three hours in my day to TikTok and consistently post every single day on average about three times a day. Sometimes I would miss a day. Sometimes, you know, obviously there was down days where I posted once or I didn't post at all. But on average, I think three times a day is what I pretty much have been doing. There you have it. By the third month, I was at about 200,000 followers. I was able to apply for the TikTok creator fund and start monetizing my TikTok. And now I'm making some decent money off of TikTok. Really trying my hardest to make content that really just goes viral, honestly. I know it's not even about the viral. It's more so about just creating TikToks every single day and making sure that you create a habit for yourself where at one point, every video, I mean, at one point, one of your videos is gonna go viral. If you're making TikTok every single day and posting every single day, I guarantee you, something will get at least like 50,000 views. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I have. That's 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 pretty much the end of the story. I'm sitting on about 340,000 followers at the time of this recording. This is August 1st. And I mean, I, I'm so blessed, bro, because it's, it's really fun. You know, it's really fun compared to Instagram, compared to Twitter, compared to YouTube. I really found TikTok just being the most simplest social media platform. I make 15 to 20 second videos that get millions of views. I'm able to monetize them. I mean, you can't take out the money till about two months after the, you know the the balance is there but it's like it's still dope to know that some way shape or form i'm making money off the content i'm creating this is something i never had in on instagram or twitter other than selling my canvases so it's like a second income stream for me at this point in my life and i'm super fired up about that man and i got i just had to share this video for anybody out there wondering about tiktok and the growth strategies you can achieve if you apply if you apply the the you know the techniques that i did in my video so just to sum it up really quick you know the first month i wasn't seeing much progress the second month I really started to see progress just being able to stick to my game plan uh, seeing you know taking my failures making sure that I never gave up flopping not giving a fuck making cringe videos not giving a fuck started getting some viral videos once I got a few viral videos going I was like pretty much good you know I was like oh this is easy being able to monetize content that I put on the TikTok is super fucking cool I'm able to you know build up this habit of posting every single day and seeing results from it I love to see results I cannot live if I'm not progressing in my brand and I'm not progressing in my social social media awareness. I need to constantly be seen on social media. I am a clout whore. I am absolutely a clout whore, guys. I hope you guys found some value value in this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys drop a like, hit subscribe. I'm only getting started on YouTube. Not that good at it. I know my videos aren't that good, but I just really want to create this habit of making videos on YouTube every single day because I noticed that on TikTok, it's really all about algorithms. And I really want to make this like place where people can come to me after they find me on TikTok or Instagram and come to get to know your boy Luesta a little more. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and DM me if you guys need one of my canvases. Some of the best canvases on the market right now. I can make any image, any picture you guys want. Just make sure you guys DM me if you guys want any questions about that or if you guys have any questions about that and we'll work, man. I hope you guys like this video. See you guys next time. Peace.